Hey, it's me, Lauren. You've seen glow sticks before. They bring a festive glow to Halloween trick-or-treating and New Year's Eve celebrations, and they're useful gear for explorers, from scuba divers to spelunkers. When you find a bunch of people gathered to party in the dark, at least a few of them will probably be wielding glow sticks. But what the heck are these things? How do they work? Glow sticks are powered by a process called chemiluminescence. Don't let the name scare you. Luminescence is just a fancy word for any emission of light not caused by heating. The chemiluminescence in glow sticks is a pretty simple reaction caused by mixing chemical compounds. Compounds are made up of different elements bonded together in specific proportions so that they can't be mechanically separated. It takes a chemical reaction to sort out, for example, the oxygen from the hydrogen in water. When you mix a compound with other stuff, you can set off that reaction. And as the atoms rearrange themselves, they'll either absorb or release energy. If you look inside a glow stick, you'll see that there's a small glass vial in the tube. This vial typically contains a hydrogen peroxide solution called the activator. It's floating in a solution containing a compound called phenyl oxalate ester and a fluorescent dye. When you snap a glow stick, the vial breaks, and the hydrogen peroxide reacts with the phenyl oxalate ester, creating two other compounds, phenol and peroxy acid ester. Still with me? Good. The peroxy acid stuff is unstable, so it decomposes and produces additional phenol. It also produces a cyclic peroxy compound, which decomposes to carbon dioxide. This decomposition releases energy to the dye. The electrons in the dye's atoms jump to a higher level, then fall back down, releasing energy in the form of light. The other chemicals in the fluorescent dye determine the color of this light. Now, all of this happens within moments of snapping and shaking your glow stick. Depending on which compounds are used, the chemical reaction can continue for anywhere from just a few minutes to a few hours. Warmer temperatures will accelerate this reaction, making the stick glow brighter, but for a shorter period of time. When it's cooler, the reaction will slow down, making the light dimmer. Which means that if you want to preserve your glow stick, put it in the freezer overnight. It won't stop the process, but it will slow it down and drag out the reaction. So it turns out that there's some pretty nifty science behind the humble glow stick. Check it out the next time you're scuba diving, partying, or, you know, Whatever it is that you do in the dark. Thanks for watching. Is there any other party science that's always mystified you? Let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe so that you won't miss a moment of brain stuff.